بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم سبح اسم ربك الأعلى الذي خلق فسوى والذي قدر فهدى والذي أخرج المرعى فجعله غثاء أحوى سنقرئك فلا تنسى إلا ما شاء الله إنه يعلم الجهر وما يخفى ونيسرك لليسرى فذكر إن نفعت الذكرى سيذكر من يخشى ويتجنبها الأشقى الذي يصل النار الكبرى ثم لا يموت فيها ولا يحيا قد أفلح من تزكى وذكر اسم ربه فصلى بل تؤثرون الحياة الدنيا والآخرة خير وأبقى إن هذا لفي الصحف الأولى صحف إبراهيم وموسى بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم هل أتاك حديث الغاشية وجوه يومئذ خاشعة عاملة ناصبة تصلى نارا حامية تسقى من عين آنية ليس لهم طعام إلا من ضريع لا يسمن ولا يغني من جوع وجوه يومئذ ناعمة لسعيا راضيا في جنة عالية لا تسمع فيها لاغيا فيها عين جارية فيها سرر مرفوعة وأكواب موضوعة ونمارق مصفوفة وزرابي مبثوثة أفلا ينظرون إلى الإبل كيف خلقت وإلى السماء كيف رفعت وإلى الجبال كيف نصبت وإلى الأرض كيف سطحت فذكر إنما أنت مذكر لست عليهم بمسيطر إلا من تولى وكفر
كفر فيعذبه الله العذاب الأكبر إن إلينا إيابهم ثم إن علينا حسابهم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم نحمده ونصلي ونسلم على رسول الكريم أما بعد فقد قال الله تعالى في القرآن المجيد في سورة البقرة شهر رمضان الذي أنزل فيه القرآن ودل الناس وبينات من الهدى والفرقان فمن شهد منكم الشهر فليصم ومن كان مريضا او على سفر فعدة من ايام اخر يريد الله بكم اليسر ولا يريد بكم العسر ولتكملوا العدة ولتكبروا الله على ما هداكم وَلَعَلَّكُمْ تَشْكُرُونَ صَدَقَ اللَّهُ الْعَلِيُّ الْعَظِيمُ السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Ramadan 2020 will be like no other not least because our masajid will be closed and we will be spending our time locked down in our homes as we heard the call by our president and public health officials to practice physical distancing in an attempt to slow down the rate of the transmission of the coronavirus covid-19 in these unprecedented times we should use this lockdown ramadan 2020 experience as an opportunity to learn and to nurture new forms of personal spirituality we can make this lockdown ramadan 2020 the best ever by occupying ourselves with a number of spiritual practices and rituals in the sanctuaries and in the comforts of our homes i would like to recommend three such spiritual practices that may enable us to make ramadan 2020 a truly memorable experience first and foremost we should endeavor to adorn our homes with tilawat al-Qur'an the recitation of the glorious Qur'an one of the key purposes and objectives of fasting in the month of Ramadan is to display deep gratitude and thanksgiving shukr for receiving divine guidance in the form of the revelation of the glorious Qur'an In this regard Allah the most high proclaims in the glorious Quran in Surah Al-Baqarah chapter 2 ayah verse 185 Shahru Ramadan alladhi unzila fihi al-Quran Ramadan is the month in which the Quran was revealed with the nas a source of guidance to all of humankind wa bayyinatin min al-huda wal furqan and a clear guidance a criterion between right and wrong faman shahida minkum ash-shahra falyasum so whoever witnesses the month that is is alive during the month of ramadan then he or she should fast in it and whoever is ill or on a journey they should fast an equal number of other days yuridu allah bikum al-yusr wa la yuridu bikum al-usr 
Allah intends and desires for you ease. Allah does not intend and desire for you hardship. Allah wants you to complete the period of fasting and to glorify Him for He having guided you. وَلَعَلَّكُمْ تَشْكُرُونَ So that perhaps you may display gratitude and thanks. Muslims at the Cape have a very strong cultural tradition of each individual completing a khatam al-Qur'an, a recitation of the entire Qur'an during the blessed month of Ramadan. However, with the daily grind of work, commuting, domestic responsibilities, this has not been a cultural tradition that we could always uphold. We should therefore take advantage of the unexpected time we now have under lockdown to try to complete our own individual Khatam al-Qur'ans, recitations of the complete Qur'an. You may choose to recite the Qur'an together as a family immediately after making a salah and praying together. Or one could choose to listen to beautiful recitations of the Qur'an which can be found online or on our lo local community radio stations. So my first recommendation is simply let the tilawat al-Qur'an, let the recitation of the glorious Qur'an ring out and adorn our homes during this blessed month of Ramadan. My second recommendation is that with the extra time we have during lockdown this Ramadan, we should also strive to deepen our engagement with the Qur'an by reading and trying to understand the sublime meanings of the Qur'an. We could choose to read a few verses of the Qur'an in translation every day, and eventually, either during this month of Ramadan or towards the end of the year, we would have completed reading the entire Qur'an in translation from cover to cover. Reading the Qur'an in translation allows Allah's words to speak to us directly and provides us with the opportunity to reflect and to internalize Allah's message and hopefully to follow the guidance therein. I would encourage each one of us to read the Qur'an and in translation, but to be enriched and to read more than one translation of the Qur'an. And in order to assist our congregants with this goal of deepening our personal engagement with the Qur'an during the upcoming Ramadan, we will be arranging brief Qur'anic reflections after Asr, once a week on Tuesdays from 4.30 p.m., which will be live streamed via the Clermont Main Road Masjid YouTube site. My third recommendation is that since this is an extraordinary Ramadan spent under lockdown at home, it might be an ideal opportunity to implement one of the most important Sunnah Salahs, namely that of the night vigil prayer known as Qiyamul Layl. The ideal time to perform this salah would be in the third and the last part of the night after you had had some sleep. This celebrated Sunnah Salah is referenced in several verses of the glorious Quran in Surah Al Isra, chapter 17. Verse number 79 in Surah Al-Furqan, chapter 25, verse 64, and most beautifully in Surah Al-Muzammil, chapter 73, 
Ayah verses 1 to 4. This Salah is also mentioned in an authentic tradition in which the Prophet Muhammad, may Allah's everlasting peace and blessings be upon him, was once asked by someone, Ayyu salati afdal ba'd al maktuba. Which prayer is the most preferred after the five obligatory daily prayers? Faqala Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, replied, As salatu fi jawfi layl, the prayer in the middle of the night. It is unequaled. This hadith can be found in the collection of Imam Muslim. The Qiyamul Layl or the night vigil prayer may consist of two, four, six or eight raka'at, eight units of prayer. And one should try to recite generous portions of the Qur'an and most of all perform it with khushu' that is with sincere devotion and full reverence and with our minds and our hearts fully present. These then are the three recommendations that I have proposed. Firstly, is tilawatil Qur'an, recitation of the Qur'an. Secondly, is trying to understand the meanings of the Qur'an. And last but not least, trying to perform the Qiyamul Layl, the night vigil prayer during some nights of the month of Ramadan. Finally, one of the critical cultural traditions in the Cape associated with the Tarawih prayers is the communal recitation of the Niyyah, the intention for fasting for the following day. Now you will not have the opportunity of doing so in congregation since you will be praying at home. I would recommend that you ritualize this practice in your homes by forming, performing the Isha prayers together and reciting the Niyyah together at the conclusion of the Vitr prayers. But most of all, the important thing is to have the Niyyah in your heart and in your mind. I recommend that you recite a Niyyah, an intention for fasting the entire month of Ramadan. Please join me in doing so. Allahumma inni nawaitu an asuma Shahri Ramadan kamilan hadi sanati imanan wahtisaban li waji Allah al kareem. O oh Allah, I hereby make a firm niya and intention to fast the entire month of Ramadan of this year. I intend to fast with sincere faith and seek thereby the pleasure and the mercy of Allah. In conclusion, during this global health crisis, let us keep in our du'as, in our supplications and prayers, all those who have lost their lives to the coronavirus, COVID-19. Those who are ill and sick, the health workers on the front lines, and those who face months of hardships due to food insecurity, and loss of incomes. Let us not let the physical distance keep us isolated from each other. Use the phone and other devices to reach out and keep in touch with our families, our friends, and our neighbors during this upcoming Ramadan. Ramadan Kareem wa Mubarak. May you enjoy a blessed and a spiritually rejuvenating Ramadan. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.